You may can't see it, but there is a hidden tab bar somewhere around, only appearing if we open a second tab. And she goes shy again if we close her sibling. That's a typical GNOME design to save space and keep interfaces clean and tidy. All you need to know, there should always be a tab. Okay, forget it, cause GNOME 44 changes everything, everywhere. So that's GNOME console for the 44 release, and as it most commonly happens, it keeps the tab bar hidden till we open some more tabs. And let's put something inside, just to easily know what is what. By the way, that's an image to ASCII converter written in Go. You'll find a link on description if you want to get it. Okay, now, on 44 we have the tabs overview merged on console, that it makes switching so much faster, especially if you do that with the keyboard. And that search can help in case you run many things at the same time. Another capability of this overview is that it can create new windows with drag and drop, and move tabs between the instances with a much cuter way that we were used to. Actually the drag thumbnail could look a bit better, but still it's a fun move to accomplish. Anywho, all that matters now is that we're left with a single tab. Can we move it? So we can, and now the terminal is basically on a tabless state, which is definitely something new in the GNOME realm, and it totally deserves all the drama in the universe. And now in an unexpected turn of events, I'm going to show you something literally useful. To the keyboard navigation then. First off, we need to run something for a better illustration, and that is the bottom app, which is a replacement of top in Rust. Now, with Control shift o we enter the overview. With the arrows, we can navigate to our tab set, and with Enter, we can open the selection. Control shift o and with Shift and arrows, we can move the tabs and reorder them. We can also select our tabs with Alt and a number, 1, 2, 3, and so on, like as it happens with classical tabs anyway. Enter, Control shift o and start typing GNOME MAGIC. Arrow to select, and enter to bring on focus. Back to overview again, and Control shift t for opening tabs. And Control shift w for closing them most obviously. And so, that was the most of it. The rest is up to you to discover. But I can promise you this. GNOME is going to build a lot upon this pattern because it works really well. Plasma 5.27, on Arch Linux by the way, and that is the default terminal. I won't even talk about the toolbars because we can remove those, but what about the tabs? Hey yo, pretty please? Don't tell about features and stuff again. Both desktops have the same more or less. It's just that Plasma looks bad, and our Vita makes it looking even worse. Ha! Huh? Screw gravity! 